Fappy Bird. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know my bird jerks off a lot now? Wait, Ow. he jerks off? Oh, constantly. I learned it from watching you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. And he goes ahead and, and uh, just rubs, like, birds just kind of have one vent. <laughs> everything comes out of. And he just, like, <laughs> like, just, like, rubs it, like, back and forth. Like, Maybe. sometimes I, I, I get woken up by it. Like, guy. does he have a raw vent in the morning? I don't know. I mean, I Whenever I ask, he just says, hi, doctor. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday night, and that means it has got to be time for the goats. That's right, it's goat time for the show that brings you the best of the worst of the internet ever since. 1776, featuring Mad-Eye Bonnie and the Throne Pencil. Hello, you beautiful citizens of the internet. It's Night Attack. I'm live in Austin, Texas. Brian Brushwood joined, as always, by my BFF in, uh, what, FLL? Where are you? Uh, well, you are right in the airport, which I'm sure you would be. Uh, but, yes, Davie, Florida, back in my hometown for Thanksgiving, but for you here on Night Attack. Yeah, dude. Uh, so you you were mentioning this before we went live, that uh, this is your bedroom, the room you grew up in, right? This is it. Uh, my bed used to be probably in the middle right here where this uh, dresser is. And uh, where I'm pointing right here is uh, where the television that I used to watch uh, scrambled porn. True, yeah, true true story. Did you jerk off looking at that television? I mean, like, yeah, you're, yes. You're, 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 like, like, you're like, grass is you're green. Like, <laughs> like yes, <laughs> I, I was a teen boy. <laughs> And I watch scrambled porn in my room. Yes, indeed. Is it a television? Then the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, uh, joined uh, uh, in in a rare visit to Austin, Texas. Uh, Mitzula and the Mike Rula, the old schooler, Chris Minton. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Hello, gentlemen. As I was to say, jury, as you take a line out of MTV Cribs, this is where all the magic. The gathering happened. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You want to know what? Uh, uh, certainly. If you replace Magic the Gathering with uh, uh, the jerk. overrun 15 minutes of Monday Nitro from 97 to 99. Oh, Nitro Then, overruns. yes, you'd be right. Yes. Uh, dude, so you are out in Davie, Florida for Thanksgiving, I assume. You brought the missus. Yes. Uh, is the rest of your family there? Yeah, no, my mom is here, and uh, and then uh, everybody else will be coming in over the next uh, day or so. Right on. So uh, we we had a bunch of people in over the last few days for. Uh, I had a. I've I've talked before about my friend Gordon, who is the guy that got me into magic. Right? Do we talk about this? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, well, so so uh, he came into town, and uh, Nate Staniforth came down, and Chris came came down. Uh, I I kept a secret from everyone because I told everyone, "Hey, uh, C.J. Johnson is throwing an epic karaoke party. It seems like it's going to be a pretty big deal." I even talked to you about it. I tried to seduce you out there, but you weren't having it. Yep. You're like, "Nope, I'm nope. coming in the week before, and that's it." Uh, but uh, but I was I managed to play coy because I knew a secret. Yeah. Well, I mean. When you tried to sell me on it, like, it was not like I was dismissing it. Like, it seemed like a super rad thing that I really, 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 really wanted to do. But, especially because we extended it in the front end, the idea of staying not a week, but, but like, two, weeks. two and a half weeks yeah. in Texas. Just essentially living with us was, was, a, was a bridge too far. But, but yeah, okay. but, 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 that being said, I really wanted to do it, but... I'm, I'm not going to lie. CJ's had a lot of karaoke parties. Yeah. You right? have not called me to invite me to marry uh, many of those parties, whether I lived in Florida or California. I kind of thought there was something weird about that call. <laughs> well, you're right, and you were right to bust me on it. But uh, I, I managed to pull it off on on Nate, though. Nate was like, "Wait, is something happening?" I was like, uh, "I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. I just found out something about this karaoke party that, uh, you know, it seems like he's really putting in a lot of effort and it's going to be epic. Uh, you know, Danny Garcia is going to be there. Alex Rangel is going to be there. David Rangel, David Rowan." Uh, uh, you know, Mark Cassetti and I, I just rattled off a million names of, of uh, top tier magicians. I was like, you know, it's just they're all coming and it would be really great if you saw them all. And uh, and, and so sure enough, you know, Nate brought his wife down. They came down and uh, and we uh, so 
again, uh, and we, I think we've alluded to this before, but but kari, uh, karaoke is is like a religion to CJ. Like he takes it very very seriously, and he's got like intelligent lighting that he sets up, and sm- yep. you know hazing, and uh, you know he has. All the music in, on the planet in karaoke yeah, format. Yeah, hundred and twenty-five thousand thousand songs. songs. He said, like he had uh, like ninety copies of every song you could name. Okay, if you I'm wanted not... it in chip tune, if you wanted it in <laughs> MIDI, yes. if you wanted it in Star Karaoke. All right, he had to, to to put it in perspective, like I might have called for Mr. Obato and heard the first few bars and said, "No, not that one. That's crap, MIDI. Give me the sound choice version." And then, sure enough, the sound choice version. <laughs> That's an exact you copy got it. shows up. Like, I've been to karaoke bars that are, like, dubbed, like, karaoke bars that are busy, busy <laughs> karaoke bars that were put to shame by CJ's backyard. Right, right. Uh, but, but, but the whole time, I held a secret, He's right? He's got a secret. A secret, secret. I've got a secret. <laughs> and so everybody shows up and... Uh, uh, oh, not everybody. Well, wait, 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 what do you mean? Well, I mean... Well, uh, no, 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 just, just... Uh, Mitch, let him tell the story. <laughs> Everybody shows up here, and uh, and keep in mind, like leading up to it, Bonnie's like super concerned. She's like, uh, I don't know, Brian. You got all these people. CJ lives like forty five minutes north of us. We're gonna, have, we're all gonna get trashed when we're up there. How are we gonna get down? I was like, ah, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll get down, and then we'll get down. Who cares, right? Whatever. And then, uh, sure enough, out of nowhere, Mizzoula calls, and uh, Chris is like, Hi, it's me, your sober friend who doesn't drink anymore uh i need a place to stay do you need a driver i'm like yes i do look stars aligning everything everything's turning up millhouse right and so uh everybody shows up the uh, some show up the day before some show up the day of we go we we play the vive which is which by the way is 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 that not the best feature of the vive is getting the chance to show the vive to other people well, like getting the chance to break other people's brains, like in front of you, like yes! in, a, in a "this is your brain on drugs" situation, yeah. like absolutely no. You can be Barbara Bush <laughs> if you own a Vive and you bring friends to your domicile. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Professor Shy Guy was in our apartment <laughs> last weekend, and uh, I was in the other room uh, watching wrestling, and. Ashley and Professor Shy Guy literally spent three hours on the Vive because he could not stop doing it. I, man, I'd hate to. I, it, it's not for me as your as your partner in crime on this show to question you, but um, but I looked around and I saw a bunch of squinted eyes and people mouthing the words Barbara Bush. Like what? 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 What, what was the Barbara Bush no, reference? That was that was that was who did the uh, just say no on drugs, right? This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. No, no, no. That was Nancy Reagan. Was it Nancy Reagan? Yeah, Nan- Nancy Reagan's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my wrong first lady. <laughs> I got my wrong ugly ass first lady. <laughs> Damn. Of all, by the way, of all the references <laughs> that I have botched on this show, the one that needs to get called back universally is Nancy Reagan versus Barbara Bush. I, I, I'm sorry. Just I looked around. And I was like, well, I didn't get it. Maybe you get. No, you didn't. No, you didn't get. It. <laughs> So, uh, all right. So everybody is is token up on the vibe, oh, <laughs> and then it's like let's take it to <laughs> this, the next level. Let's go to uh, uh, let's get a pre show snack. Let's go over to Trudy's, and uh, and so it's like I walk in like a boss, and I look at the the six of us, and I'm just like like I'm like don't even order. I got this. I'm like we'll do a Texas star nacho, spicy um, uh, uh, sour cream guacamole on the side. Let's get fresh jalapenos with that. Let's do an order of chicken fajitas. We'll do an order of beef fajitas. We'll do three uh, three Mexican martinis and five uh, glasses. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll then we'll go right. We go. Everything goes off without a hitch. All good. All good. And uh, by the way, the the event begins at six o'clock. I'm sitting there. It's now you know four twenty. We we all eat uh, and and enjoy. And then we get in the car, and it's like, well, now I've had a drink. So Mitsula, you take over. Mitsula starts driving us. We're watching the sun go down. We're headed up north. And uh, man, what a little over halfway there? Is that right? Uh, we were like uh, two, almost two thirds of the way, way there. We yeah. were just getting ready to go onto the. Last highway before we went into the rural backwoods roads that took you to see. All of a sudden, I hear this fucking giant-ass loud pipe 
having motherfucking motorcycle. Yeah, you know the ones that are like loud pipes. Oh hell save yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's like a chopper, a real chopper. Yeah, and then uh, and then I realize uh, I don't see one around. I'm just hearing the sound, and then uh, and then I realize that it's our front right tire. Yeah. Mm. Explodey, right? Yeah. So, so we kind of pull over. So it was thing. not Michael Winslow from Police Academy who was just like <laughs> doing voices. You know, that that would have been a good addition to the car, though. We had an extra seat. We should have invited Michael Winslow. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't, it wasn't your, it wasn't your Dr. Bird on those. Uh, it wasn't vent, on rubbing those, his vent. Yeah. If I would have asked him about it, he just would have said, "Hi, doctor." <laughs> <laughs> so so we pull over on the side of the road and this is one of those cases where it's like you got you you got six grown-ups in the car everybody's trying to figure out like how to make this work and then it's it's like well do we call AAA and I'm like no like I mean for, you know of everybody there I think me and Nate were the only ones who have run into this situation repeatedly on the way to a gig right so there's a different set of protocols like if it's you know a Tuesday afternoon you don't really worry about it but but when you th there's a time sensitive thing and keep in mind I'm the only one who knows it's a time sensitive thing, right? Yeah, the rest of us are just like, oh, so we get there yeah. at six thirty, okay? You yeah, know? and I'm, I'm just like, no, no, yeah. no. And, and so meanwhile, they're all like, oh, well, let's call AAA. We can get a river. We could do this. We could do that. And I'm like, nope, we ain't got time. Screw it. We got a spare. Let's just do this ourselves. Come on, let's uh, let's let's Formula Five Hundred. This is that a thing? No, it's Indy Five Hundred Formula One. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's Formula Five Hundred. Actually, it was Nancy Five Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> let's WD Forty this right. And so uh, and so we all start working, and we're and we're six. There were six of us, Captain Fubar. Clearly incompetent. Clearly uh, incompetent. Trying to make this happen. Yeah. Like like like. Where the first is, thing is is, is well, somebody asks, well, where Where's the spare? And then as if like, <laughs> after like, I don't know, five minutes of looking around, as if I'm a genius, I'm like, look in the manual. <laughs> like maybe it says in there. Me meanwhile, I'm on YouTube going, how to change a spare tire or where the hell is a spare not, tire? Not wait, the trunk, you, know, you know guys what? know where the no, where the, the, the mini, is? the minivan does not oh, have uh, it. Wait, wait, hold on. Guess where do you think the, where do you think the spare tire is in the Toyota 2011 Sienna? I mean, I would guess in in the hatchback back. No, because that's it's, that's it's, what that's what we thought. It's stow and go seating, so that's where the, fo the seats fold down. That's where the jack and the crowbar were. So where do you not where, where the tire where, is? Where do you look next? Under the check back the manual. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Bryce under has the back it. bumper. Yeah, you no, look no. under the back bumper. Yeah, that's where you look. Not there. It's not, not under there. the back oh. bumper. That's that's where you get a face full of muffler. I found that out the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that what you do is it's right in the middle belly of this thing. And the way you have to get to it is you have to take the passenger seat, slide it all the way forward. The the, the middle passenger seat, slide it all the way back. You have to take the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the crowbar thing from the back and then and, and, and peel back and part of the carpet. And pry it open. Peel back part of the carpet and you'll see a lug nut that you unscrew and then you hear cathud. And it cantilevers the tire down. Where, where what? had been suspended in the middle of all this, right? Oh, but still under the car. Yeah, yes, it's still yeah, under, under the car. Under but the car. It's but under, you it's unlock under the, it from up top. It's under the middle passenger seat on the on the passenger side. So it's like, oh my nobody's god, nobody's gonna look there. The mysteries of minivans are untold yet delightful. <laughs> by the way, I, by the way, people are concur. people are saying should have called AAA. Let him tell the story. Can, I, can. I'd gone a very long time without ever having to call AAA until. <laughs> Well, we we, had, Until we, yeah, we did have our savior first. twice this week. <laughs> uh, uh, twice in one Once week. Once was me. Once was me. What? Press oh, pause on this. Pause on the car. For the man. first time in like four years, I had to call AAA because Justin took my car out to the t out to the airport. All right. All right. Side story. Go ahead. Go ahead. You bring it out. So what Brian is about to tell is a very valid story. In fact, you want to know what? Understand my anger as a little uh, appetizer. Brian, tell your story to the point where you talk to somebody. Okay. So uh, so, so we're talking about like, uh, hey, so we just did Night Attack. It's great that you stayed all the way. You know, two Night Attacks one week. That was really great. It was a good time. Um, we're staying up super late, and you have to leave super early in the morning. Nutty idea. Take my car. Drop it off at the fast park place as you've done before and just which do we've done which we've done 
Absolutely. Just do what you've done before. Drop off my car, say, hey, this is somebody else's car. He's going to be here later today. Here are the keys. His name's Brian Brushwood. And yeah. then, and, and so, and so it was right. And so sure enough, I wake up and I look and the car's gone and Justin appeared, you know, has written a very nice thank you text and off he goes. And, uh, and so I call a lift first lift. And, and by the way, this begins at like eight 30 in the morning. I'm, I call a lift, uh, first lift 30 minutes later, it's clear. They're not coming. I have to cancel it and call another one waiting 20 minutes for it to come. And then the, uh, the next lift comes, the guy shows up and he's just like, Hey, where are we going? I'm like to the airport. He's like, Oh, thank God. You know, one time I drove 20 minutes and the guy only wanted to go like half a mile. And I was like, great. No, we're going all the way to the airport. Great. So we get to the airport and, and we get there and, uh, and I tell the guy, Hey, bug off you. It's fine. Go, go wherever. It doesn't matter. And I go up to uh, <laughs> to say, like, hey, my name's Brian Brushwood. I believe there are some keys waiting for me's. And, uh, <laughs> and they're, they're like, yeah, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I talk to someone else. And they're like, uh, Brian Brushwood, keys waiting for me's. I'm going to stop saying for me's because now it's feeling awkward. And they're like, yeah, yeah. Still, still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then finally I look at my phone. I look at my phone and it says uh, – uh, it says for Justin, hey, keys are in the car. Thanks so much. Great time. You're in F11. So I'm like, oh, oh, that's why the keys, he left the keys in the car. Let me go. I walk on over there. And uh, and I go to F11, pull on the door, and it's a little bit locked. And uh, I text Justin, who I can only imagine is sitting with a mimosa in hand in first class <laughs> at this moment. It's 11 a.m. And I type, hey, did you uh, did you lock my keys in my car? I'm so-, so here's where Justin really was. <laughs> Having just finished a mimosa in first class. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was in... Uh, LAX on my stopover and all of a sudden I get this text from Brian and uh, we start going back and forth and we realize that it was not communicated correctly that his keys were literally in the car. Now, I don't blame him for this because the confusion that he felt was a, a descendant of the confusion I felt when I first got to the like attendant at five or six o'clock in the morning, whenever I got there, we're, we're officially into flashback within a flashback territory. So, so, so flashback from me in my flashback. It's now Justin five thirty in the morning pulling in with my car. Five thirty. Now, I have done this once where I have left Brian's car for him at the long term parking thing, right? And having parked in long-term parking before, normally I'm used to people taking your keys and then driving your car somewhere, right? But this is a different situation. And so in that moment, I could not remember whether or not I was supposed to lock the keys in the car or leave the keys with somebody. But I remembered that leave the keys with somebody was an option. So when I drove up, I see this lady and I uh, 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 pull out the keys and I extend them to her, despite the fact that this does not work for what we're going to do. I'm like, hey, uh, I would like to leave these for Brian Brushwood. Wait, hold and- on. So wait, you hadn't even pulled into the lot yet. No, I was in my, I was, I was so sleep deprived. <laughs> does that mean you turned I mean, off the And by the way, too? I don't blame you because I've been there. It's like you only had like an hour and a half of sleep, but it's like you pulled up to the entrance, stopped yes. the car, pulled out the keys what? and said, please give this <laughs> to Brian. In every other, in every other park and ride oh that I've been God. to, that I go to all the time, yes, that I did for yes. four years with the Go Game, it was a vast. LA. Yes. So yeah. I'm just used to stopping somewhere and pulling out the keys, handing them to somebody, and then going. Right. And so, oh and so, God. and so, you go to do this. What is the expression on her face? Because I'm gonna guess this is a bit unconventional for her. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> but you can just go ahead and pull ahead. <laughs> well, it's it's and so and so. What do you- quote quote. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> and so you're like, oh, okay, so I guess I pull ahead? Yeah. Uh, and, oh, it's, it's, so, so you pulled ahead, 
And then, uh, and then, well, okay, so how did the car end up locked with my keys in it? Well, because she told me she has no idea what her taking my, or like, 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 like the, the, the company getting my keys is <laughs> like in my head. So I'm like, all right, there are two options and I can't remember which one I do. Right. Like it's either me leave the keys. Right. Or, or me obey. lock the keys in the car. Sure, sure. And so somebody in uniform just told me they don't take keys. Got it. Got it. So so you pull up uh, to the spot they tell you to do. And then yeah. and, and I guess uh, uh, according to your texts, like at some point she was like, well, does he have another set of keys? And you're like, I assume so. Oh, and yeah. No, 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 no. You're right. When I was talking to her, yeah. she asked, does he have another set of keys? And then like, I'm like, I guess. And then she's like, uh, okay, we'll lock the keys in the car. Right. And that's it. And then you're like, well, person with authority told me to do things, so I will. Now, of course, uh, had I known this was the plan, had I read <sighs> – but but even then, the text just said the keys were in the car. I don't think I would have thought to bring the spare set of keys. But at any rate, so I find myself there. I mean, how much more – because the thing is, I did know that there was a, a, a binary here, that it was one or the other. Yeah. That you would expect, which is why I texted you the keys are in the car. Yeah. Well, I, I, well, I, again, I only read that after I was there and after the lift left. So it's like all of a sudden, like once the lift left, there was no getting back home yeah. because I could lift in to Austin, but I can't lift out of Austin because we're a but, but, savage but if, community. If you, had, if you had read that at your house, would you have grabbed? Oh yeah. No, no, no. I would have been like, yeah, let me just, just in case. Yeah. But, Just, but, yeah. but again, the, the plan was we'll do what we did before. And for various reasons, indeed, indeed. And, that, that didn't and my happen. bad right. was not remembering it. I, I did not remember which was the, the, the right path. So I got there and then uh and and then I text Justin, I was like, Yeah, I'm kind of just sitting here without a thing. And so and so I called AAA and uh and I requested him, and Justin was like, oh, man, I'm really sorry. That's a bummer. I didn't mean for it to go down that way. And uh, luckily, I was just like, well, now I've got an hour to kill, and there's only one way for you to make it right. And I sent you a, 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 a hyperlink to Hearthstone. <laughs> to, like, you got to pass this time, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so uh, out of my flashback, out of your flashback, you're back on the road going to CJ's wedding, and you've just called AAA for the second time in years no, in no, a week. Man. See, that's just it, is I didn't call AAA because it took them 90 minutes. I'm like, dude, guys, look, if if there's a spare tire, if we could put it on, if we could do this ourselves, we can make the party in time for the giant secret surprise that I'm not letting anyone know is about to happen. But I did call AAA. You did? I did. I had him on the phone, and I was like, oh, wait. I guess we don't need you after all because... Because we figured out how to change the tire. We That's found right. the spare. We had the jack. We were ready to pick crew it up. But but and then meanwhile, meanwhile, we're we're idiots because it turns out like like our lug nuts, like uh, I guess the lug nuts that Bonnie got uh, on there don't match the crowbar thing in there. Uh, what? Yeah. The, oh the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, lug yeah. wrench and the lug nuts were not compatible. Correct. They Is this one of those lock things? My car has locked. No, no, no. no, no they weren't lug nuts. It, it, there's like oh, some okay. kind of coating on the outside of the lug nuts okay. that is aesthetically pleasing, but makes it to where you can't stick it on there. Oh, there was an attachment in the. Oh, there was. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, so we're we're getting <laughs> we're trying we're trying to do that. All of a sudden, dude pulls over. And if you know, gets uh, this, 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 out, this Fiat pulls up in front of us. Guy, and, guy steps out. Smash cut slow motion. Like, this is seventy frame, uh, one hundred twenty frames per second slow motion. Guy getting out, down. chiseled, good looks, hair flowing, wearing a full mechanics outfit, walks back, and is just like, uh, "What's going on here?" And we're like, we're, "We're we're dumb, and this doesn't work. We're trying to change this thing." He's like, "All right, hold on." Walks back to his car, comes out. With the pneumatic drill, uh, with with the attachment for the lug nuts, and just pops it on there, goes woo 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 woo, pops it up, it's uh, it's like Formula 500, <laughs> and he pulls, yeah, he totally pulls, was. he was pulls off Nancy, the thing. Nancy 500, Nancy 500, Nancy 500, it was, it was Nancy so 500, it was amazing. <laughs> he uh, yeah, pulls it off, puts on the spare, takes the spare, bounces it two or three times, puts it on, and I'm looking around, these side eye glances, like oh my god. It's magic. It's magic. A full-on mechanic just pulled over. And I tried to give him, I was like, hey, man, not for nothing, but uh, in a weird coincidence, 
I had this $50 bill that I took with me. I didn't know why I would need it, but apparently the fates conspired and I need to give this to you. And, uh, and he was like, as if he was offended, as if I just farted right in front of him. He was like, I didn't pull over for that. Yeah, I didn't. And I was like, I just pulled over to help you. And I was like, well, yeah, but I'd like to give you, I mean, I'm very thankful you, yeah. you've made a whole night possible. And he's like, I didn't do it for that. And so then, uh, and then but somebody's like, he's like, I did it for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want that bearded one. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody's like, give him a deck. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we got these outlaws decks. Take a deck of cards, please. Let me give you something. He's like, oh, I'll take your deck of cards. I'm out of here. Whoosh. And that then he was disappears. The most upset I've ever seen any man to get a deck of cards in his life. <laughs> yeah. He's like, just let me be a fucking good Samaritan. Mm. Damn it. He just swipes it out of my hands. Uh, and then we all pile back in. Super excited. Chris back behind the wheel. I mean, we've all sobered up. It's been, you know, an hour and change. Yep. We make it 100 Just feet. Man, 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 we, we, man, man, man. we make Let's it. Let's go! <laughs> we make it past the exit that we were at. Yeah. We, we get ready to go, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, this is, I'm going to take it slow. It's the donut. I don't want to be going too fast. Yep, yep. We're gonna, there's on, a Firestone now. a couple blocks Let's away. We'll go, go. there and get it swapped out. And... <laughs> Yeah. Donuts yeah. flat. Donuts totally flat. And then we pulled over. This one works less well. 90 minutes, two hours. Well, we- we're also pulled over from a small side street and the main highway to the corner of an intersection where the main exits are highway going north and major highway going west. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're so in that little triangle yeah, in every direction. Yeah. So two hours later. Uh, uh, Cars uh, go by and our, our little... Vessel rocks with the airflow. <sighs> luckily, luckily, some of the folks made it in time for the big surprise, which was CJ, despite the fact that he says he's married. Turns out he's he was only common law married. What? Yeah. He and, what? He and Kim living in sin for 10, 15 years. And uh, instead, finally, like in the middle of the karaoke party, she comes out in uh, her gorgeous white dress, her son on her arm in full Marines military regalia. Uh, and all of a sudden, they're, they're uh, uh, what, boutonnieres? I don't know what you call them. You put them on. Boutonnieres. Uh, yeah, boutonnieres on all of the men or whatever. And it was like a stealth gotcha wedding. And uh, everybody saw it except so us. So apparently it started off with, we didn't get there at the very beginning. CJ came out with Gus and his groomsmen. Yeah. And they were all standing up there. And CJ was like, oh, I'd like to thank y'all for coming. Where's Kim? And everybody looks around and it's quiet. And then all of a sudden the intelligent sudden, lighting the intelligent swings lighting around. around. And it's I Want to Marry You by Bruno Mars. Yeah. And she comes out. And that's when everybody realizes, well, we're still not there yet. Right about when this happens is when we're turning into the driveway. All right. First of all, we is a weird well, okay. term because you the guys fa- made me, it. We did not. The, the, those of us that made it in the uh, on the, onto the life ship. Sure, sure. On the life raft. Those of us that yeah. got off the Titanic on me, the life raft. Me and Bonnie and Gordon are still freezing our asses off. Yeah, and, waiting me, and me and for... the Stanifors are holding onto a board in the ocean floating away. Yes, yes. You guys but, made it in time. So we come in and we turn the corner. And right as we turn the corner, all I hear Stanifors say is, Holy crap, she's in a wedding dress. <laughs> and then I just go, holy shit, they're getting married. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you guys made it there in time because you guys got, in fact, the only person, like I knew uh, that this was happening. So I wasn't really bothered that that I, I didn't, you know, you get, get the, the surprise, surprise right? Yeah, I knew too. But uh, Bonnie knew. Uh, it was only Gordon who flew out. Gordon, who had worked for CJ no! 20 plus years ago. Who, who was with us, and then, like, once we realized we weren't going to make it, I'm like, hey, so anyway, the real reason you're here is for a big surprise. Also, you're not going to experience the big surprise. Also, the big surprise is CJ's getting married right now while I'm telling you this. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, so so we, pull, we pull up there, and we the wedding's going on, and I get out, and I, like, take a picture, and I'm like, I'm like, and there's somebody, somebody said you can't, like, tweet stuff until they've officially announced it. Right. And I'm sitting there going, do I text this to Brian and be like, holy crap, oh, shit's going down? Oh, you didn't know that I knew. I didn't know that you didn't know. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I got this picture. I'm like, do I send this to Brian and be like, um, something's going on. You guys might want to get here in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Or do I just wait? And after the ceremony, I saw uh, uh, Daniel Martin, and I'm like, so we made it, but Schwood's on his way. And he goes, oh, Brian's known for a while. I'm like, okay, thanks, because I was feeling like shit that I didn't text him. He'd be like, hey, well, and also, this guy like, that we both know Someone's saying you like, 
You can't tweet it until there's an announcement. Someone's in a wedding dress and they're getting married. <laughs> this is the announcement. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> this is when we tweet it. Well, no, everybody that was there would have been. They just didn't want anybody to put it on Facebook so that friends and family couldn't see it until they officially made the yeah, announcement. Yeah, by the way, by the way, their uh, their announcement photo was awesome. It's uh it's CJ and Kim looking like they're just giving a Beastie Boys style wide angle lens middle finger to the camera, but they're giving their ring finger showing off their rings. That's great. <laughs> That's cute. It was great. Uh yeah. yeah, if somebody can find it on the in the chat. So I, I'll tell sure you what, uh, a I don't big congratulations photo, to uh what is CJ's C- CJ uh, and Twitter Kim, handle? CJ he's, and Kim Johnson now. Yeah, he's guess, uh, yeah. hypnotic one. Hypnotic one on hypnotic Twitter. Hypnotic one and she is blonde, blonde number, number 4, four now. now right? yeah, yeah, blonde for now. It should probably They're, be one of CJ's top things. They're also out and they're in King Mexico. I'm yeah, sure. And, uh, oh, in uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. They're honeymooning it up. Here, let's. Uh, oh, hey, oh, oh, there we go. There's uh, there's Mitzula. There's my photo. Yeah, I got several. He put me on a lot of the photos. So. Yeah, right on. This was the. This was. Oh nope, that's not it. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no D A P. That's the. Uh, that's the. Uh, that's what you guys sang. Proud to be an American. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of. Oh jeez. That's one of my favorite. Uh, if, ironic jokes if, to do is whenever ev- something if happens. You, if you ever get the chance to just hang out with a bunch of magicians who are doing nothing but getting hammered and singing karaoke, do it. It's a very, very fun time. So <laughs> I've done this around you, right, Justin? This bit where when something goes sideways or silly or, or whatever, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stand up on whatever is near me and start singing Proud to be an American. And I'm proud to be an American. Yes, right. Yeah. And all of that is kind of based on this, you know, this ironic acknowledgement that that's, you know, a jingoistic horseshit and that song is garbage. And But yet it's so catchy. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and then at some point, at some point, somebody puts that on karaoke and gathers everybody up and we start singing. And then uh, midway through the song, I'm like, we're all doing this ironically. Right. And I look around and I was like, well, we're doing it ironically. I'm like, oh, and then I was like, oh, wait, is it being enjoyed ironically? And then I look out in the audience. And I was like. They're not enjoying it, ironically. Nope. <laughs> and so at that point, I immediately stop singing the lyrics and instead just growl and go, which is kind of obnoxious. I don't, I don't know. You got to realize that like 90% that is of the people. It is, and Brian, let me just tell you this. I don't know how ironically you're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you got. I enough. think you have you you have a conflicted relationship with that song, dude. But I think at some point you're gonna break down in tears in your eyes. Just say, I don't know, man. It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and it's like I don't know. It's it's fucked up to look out and there's like legitimate active service uh, marines. marines out there. Well, I mean, because like... that, that 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 that's a whole different thing, right? Like you know, when you actually have service people in the crowd and it's. You know, like what they served for, and everyone's enjoying that. That's but like also it's like a shitty glow. song. It's a super shitty song with well, a super shitty sen- sentiment. And that's one of them was the guy. I mean, so okay. Star Spangled Banner. What's the point, baby? Like we still do that in uh, you know uh, sports games. Yeah. It's sounding like Penny's well, uh, resistance to choir class. With me. oh, is, is is that is that her whole thing? <laughs> oh no, just that they were doing like salute. Dance. Oh, with the- <laughs> Penny did. She lost her shit when it's like the choreography for a song was going to be to salute and march in place. <laughs> Penny, Penny was just like, no, no, no. Oh no. my God, she is so your daughter. <laughs> so <laughs> your daughter. She's like, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Frisk me next? <laughs> <laughs> I don't consent to any searches. <laughs> yeah. And it turned out one of her really good friends, she was like, man, you know, I like so-and-so, but she has really bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sorry, honey. <laughs> hey, by the way, let me guess. Steps 9 through 12 are surrender my rights. Surrender my rights. <laughs> surrender my rights. <laughs> I'll tell you what step 11 is, is to head on over to patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, hey, man, some people are concerned. That uh, that that we're not doing all right. They they they're watching. They they know there was a big push when we first launched, and they're watching our number of patrons descend every so slow. Oh wait wait hold on. You're concerned, yeah, Bonnie? Yeah, I'm concerned. 
Well, I'll tell you what. You don't have to concern. <laughs> if you go to graphtreon.com, G-R-A-P-H-T-R-E-O-N.com, slash, I think it's slash creator, slash uh, uh, night attack, um, you'll see that, yeah, dude, some people, they get fed up and they don't want to be contributors anymore, but... The amount per episode. More and more people are taking the one dollar pledge. More and more people are yes. realizing. Yes. You, you know what's great is getting my very own RSS feed where I can have the pre-show, the post-show, and the show itself all in one fell swoop. I get to double my time with these silly boys. Uh, there was a good pre-show today as well, uh, and uh, just pledge a dollar an episode. You will never, ever, ever, ever notice it on your bill. You'll you'll scan through it and right next to the coffee and the whatever, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's also I'm supporting independent creators doing things that they love and making me laugh once a day. Then, uh, you know, and also it makes a huge, huge difference to us. Absolutely. Patreon.com slash Night Attack gives you the best Night Attack experience. And again, Hey, Brian, uh, there's this one thing, uh, you mentioned it, the, the buck a month challenge. If you can increase your pledge by $1, then you throw yourself, as anyone who is a new uh, pledge uh, to patreon.com slash night attack, you have a chance to have your name read in the most popular segment of this show, entitled... <laughs> and gentlemen, it's time... For the Night Attack, new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part of the show where we find new patrons who are pledging over a dollar. Brian, you got a name for us? Well, I got two, uh -oh. and I can't figure out. Maybe there's a battle between the two of them. Two names there's enter, one name leaves. Mike, Mike Dennis. 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 Mike, Mike Dennis. 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 Mike, I'm talking Mike, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike, where are you? Where are, you? are you on a are treadmill? On a <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike Dennis. Dennis. Are you driving? My... To the are you at the dentist? Mike Dennis. Novocaine for Mike, Mike Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> are you at the grocery, the grocery store, store, Mike Dennis? Bok Choy for Mike Dennis. Won't you come home, Mike Dennis? Won't you come home? Are you in the middle of a hot date at a premium steakhouse for some reason listening to a podcast in the middle of your date? Mike Dennis. Bill for Mike Dennis. What's the other name? Or for Mike Dennis? Is it I don't know how to say this. You guys will have to help me. It's Milo. I got that first part. Milo. Mio Milo. M A G A Enye A. Maganya. 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 Ah, Milo Maganya. Milo Maganya. Milo Maganya. Milo Maganya. Sorry. Is this racist? This all feels vaguely racist. Milo slash Milo? I'm in Florida. Florida. It can't be racist. Be racist. <laughs> My God, yeah. I'm probably I'm Latino. Latino. It can't be racist. Can't be racist. <laughs> People in the chat are saying Mike Marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Milo Magana. Thank you so Thank much you so for your one dollar. Where, 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 He's running a pixie. <laughs> I swear to God, I want him to be riding a recumbent bike. Shut it down on shit. recumbent bike. That's it. I want a Milo, at Milo Magana. Thank you so much to everybody who keeps the show rocking. Absolutely. If you want to take the $1 challenge, just go to patreon.com slash night attack. If you already pledged to show up at a dollar, if you don't, then pledge $1. That's all we're asking. <laughs> With that pre-show access, today does come Bonnie's premonition. Oh, what was she, her premonition? Bonnie was psychic during... Um, oh, a flaming shot, shot video. Shot video. We, oh, my doing God. A lot of yeah, no, shot if you dares. missed it, you missed out because uh, because we did a flaming she, shot challenge. She not Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie was the oh, baby. Spoiler, spoiler, Bonnie's spoiler. right. Bonnie's right. And if you want to watch it, then get on the Patreon. An unprecedented, yeah. I'll say this, this is the teaser, an unprecedented win. Yes. yes. No, it was unprecedented. unreal. Unreal. Uh, all right, man. Hey, somebody play some Hitler. 
Yes, that's right. It's the return of Blitz Quiz, the world's first call-out trivia challenge show. In which case, uh, in which case, me and Justin are going to uh, pose a question to somebody who has uh, signed up. How, how did how did all this work again? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Normally, uh, me and you played against each other. Right. That's how it usually worked. Is that we would pick somebody on the dock and then call them and 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 have them be our champion. Uh, to make sure that they knew something that was on a kind of uh, current events news quizzy kind of wavelength. Right. However, we're doing this a little differently. Brian, me and you, and everybody else in the studio are just going to try to uh, play color commentary. Bryce is going to be quiz master. That's right. And oh, I we like are it. Going to, mm. uh, I, we are I, going, oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Brian. No, no, no. That's all. That's all you. I was just saying. I like it. Uh, and we are going to be uh, uh, giving away prizes to the Diamond Club faithful. Yeah, man. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Justin and I, in addition to uh, uh, shilling, uh, asking you guys for donations at patreon.com slash night attack, we also run independent stores and we're giving away free stuff because guess what? It's the Super Bowl. It's the time of year where we make all the money we're going to make, uh, with uh, whether it be with stickers or lock picks. Um, dude, we are we are really excited, so we're gonna give away a bunch of free stuff to promote Black Friday. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I love that we've removed all pretense from this bit. Like, it's not like <laughs> oh, we're randomly giving away things. Use oh, it, promo oh, code. Is it Black Friday? Oh, I hadn't remembered. Use promo code. Like, no, free we're promoting crap. our things. So either go buy them at scamstuff.com, stickers or diaf.com, or thecontender.us. If you All do right. not win, all prizes will be available for sale at the following website. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't be gross, <laughs> Tammy. Don't I, be gross. I've, I've got no net gain from this. I'm just helping some friends. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got our first work. Well, how do we want to do this? We have the questions, but you guys aren't playing. All right, what do you want me to to handicap and you guys can bet theoret theoretical money? Well, on here, uh, uh, Bryce, uh, get, can you just give a summary of the question? Like, uh, generally, what topic the question is about okay. to Mitsula? He'll handicap well, it. He can and see Brian the questions. I'll bet. He can see the questions. Yeah. We turn them away from Brian. Well, oh, he's playing. playing yeah, no, 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 we're all playing. You can we, see the questions. We, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, the, the, the questions are yeah. written by Justin. Oh. so yeah, we're all. Yeah, the I, same I major. can see the questions. So I'll, I'll put what you guys can do. Is he'll give us the topic, and then I'll give you know yes is this too much or no is this much. Give you odds. All right, all right, we'll uh, bet. You guys we'll can bet. Start with buy, you can Brian Bucks. Okay, sounds complicated. Jury sounds complicated. Done, it's done, all theoretical. Doesn't matter. All right, the first question is about handsomeness. Ah, looking at this question, I'm going to say that they will get it right, and. Uh, that if they if I'm right, then they can get a brand new deck of outlaws, our latest ah, original deck at scamstuff.com. Scam All right. I gotta say that. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, All right. So Bonnie, well, wait, sorry, sorry. What did you say? Same Bonnie oh, says my deck saying, is handsome. Oh wait, that sounds weird when you put it like that. <laughs> Whip out that deck. <laughs> uh, uh, I will say they will also get it right. Let's call them. Yeah. All right. We're gonna give him a call right here on the Skype. yes is like minus three hundred on this. Uh, wait, mine, get it right. That, yeah, okay, see ya. That is like the sound of that's the sound of a dove a dove chortling. This is the sound of hey Cody. Intermission. Dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm gonna give it like Long and five more tall seconds. And dun, 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 something and slander. Dun, 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 the girl dun, dun, from dun, dun, Ipanema, Ipanema was a lady, and she dun, went dun, to dun, school and got a degree dun, in sociology, dun, 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 dun. and that's yeah, why that she's the right. secretary well, of state. Oh jeez. <laughs> All right, let's well, let's try all? another caller. Uh, we're just going down a list here, uh, and I'm gonna plug this in here and. Let's call this person. Oh, 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 hello. 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 Blitz quiz. Hi, caller. Welcome to the Blitz quiz. Uh, here is your question. Who was selected by People Magazine? As this year's sexiest man alive, was it A, Chris Rock, B, Bernie Sanders, 
C, Patrick Dempsey, or D, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Did you Don't up? look at the internet! They hung up on me. They hung oh, up on mid. me. I don't know, guys. Ba, 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 da, I, think, I think in this current political climate, we may need to change our intro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, you mean this isn't a call from the alt right phone bank? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, all right. We're gonna try. We're gonna try one last person. Word for it, we're, we're gonna try one last person. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's one of. It's a fellow Brian. Inside advantage if they actually were listening. Wow, Skype is bad. What is going on today? Oh, what? Hey, what's up, Brian? Listen, this is the Blitz Quiz. I got a question for you. You could win a good, good, good prize. Who was selected by People Magazine as this year's Sexiest Man Alive? Was it Chris Rock, B, Bernie Sanders, C, Patrick Dempsey, or D, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Let's try Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You are correct. <laughs> All right, dude. You got yourself a deck of outlaws. Congratulations. I, I feel here. cheap, and so should you. All right, Justin, who's next? I really thought that was Patrick Dempsey. Well, if you smell what The Rock is cooking, I'll tell you what. I'll leave it up to our quiz master, Bryce. But I will tell you this, that the uh, person who answers this question will either win or lose a holiday stickers or DIAF <laughs> pack. That is eight of our best stickers from our inaugural year and two new designs as well as an original ruin them label. They used to go on wine bottles, but now they can come to you as well as the way that you will be a winner on this deal. You pay me $20 now, but I get two jury buys me a drink tokens out in the world. If Whoa. you find me in San Francisco, I'm going to lose money on this deal. You can go to stickers or D-I-A-F to get your own, but this person will either win or lose one. All right, let's <clears throat> call them up right now. Calling. And by the way, to clarify, when he says win, win or lose, it means if they lose, they owe Justin a sticker <laughs> pack. They have to make their own stickers. What? <laughs> Welcome, Colin. This is the Blitz Quiz. You can uh, win a fabulous prize if you can't this right. What restaurant chain took some heat after a veteran had his free meal taken away by a manager on Veterans Day? Is it A, Wendy's, B, Taco Bell, C, KFC, or D, Chili's? I'm going to say A, Wendy's. That answer is... Racist! Wrong. Against wah, 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 gingers. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, Wendy's oh, would never do that. Oh, no. Boo. How dare you I, slander a franchise invented <laughs> here in South Florida. They put fingers in chili. They don't deny you your meal. No, that's not true. You know that was fake, too. Yeah, true. Okay, I'll all tell right. you what. Uh, uh, caller, call me at Justin Robert. Or call me. Email me, <laughs> JustinRobertYoung at gmail.com. I'll get you a sticker pack in. Anyway. Hey, uh, right. uh, I, I actually don't know this story. What, what's the story with that one? Uh, they were doing a free thing. Come in uniform, and we'll give you a free meal. And somebody uh, went someone, to a costume shop? So No, no. I mean, it was, well, this it was, was a real was, person. This yeah. was a real a real vet someone looked at this guy and said hey black people didn't serve in germany said talk to the manager the manager said hey i'm taking your food away yeah Whoa. it was an active or former military could show their military id or come in uniform to get a free meal yeah and somebody in the restaurant questioned if the guy legitimately served because he was black i think it, I, I think it was why, element, but that would that played an element was, of the equation he was black i believe oh that's super so. racist also, couldn't they do With that, let me prep them? the Hitler bumper again for our next <laughs> caller. <laughs> uh, what, what, what are we offering this time, fellas? By the way, I'll tell you what. This is, the, like, like, I suggested, real talk, I suggested this bit. There's never been a worse time in history. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> except for when there wasn't the internet. To play this bit. How, right? quick, how when, quickly like, can we make it Nazis outright Nazis are in America, are, like, in the news, and we're, like, yeah. playing an ironic Hitler bumper. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, who, who, who's got a prize? Hey, man, you think uh, the American politics scene is painful? You haven't experienced pain until you've tried to chew on some ghost pepper gumballs. <laughs> Available right now at scamstuff.com. 
That's right, these cinnamon gumballs are covered in ghost peppers. Rated at over 1 million Scoville units, you'll barely keep from vomiting on yourself. All right, well, let's give this person a call and see. <laughs> And they're free to veterans. Oh, hello. Welcome, Colin. This is the Blitz Quiz. If you answer the question correctly, you're going to get to win a fabulous prize. Here's the question. What brewery is phasing out its free beers for life park for retirees over the next two years? Is it A, Labatt's, B, Gen uh, Genesee, C, Rolling Rock, or D, Foster's? Uh, let's say C. Oh, Kali, your answer is... <laughs> Thanks for calling. That's right. You owe me some ghost pepper gumballs. You can, good news is you can buy them at scamstuff.com at a discounted price this weekend. <laughs> and then in the memo put, I owe these to you, Brian. Don't send them to me. All right. Wait, what was the deal? What's that? Oh, uh, the correct answer is A, Labatt's. That's all I know about. This. I think I Canucks. think what, they, man, people always say, "Oh, Canada, they well, got free health care." No, I, I think it was for, for their employees that retired. They're, yeah, their employees got free who retired. beer for life, and they're phasing that out because their employees are drinking them dry. Boo! Boo. All right, who's got another prize for for the people? Do you want to? Keep... I do, uh -oh. ladies and gentlemen. You can get all five of our contender mini expansions again. That is. Uh, uh, all the three that we did during the uh, debates, they are going back on sale this winter, as well as the All I Do Is Win Pack with all of the victory speeches and our previously only sold at cons television and movie presidents expansion all together as they will be sold on thecontender.us this weekend. All right, let's give our player a call on the phone right now. Wong? White? White? Wong? Hello? What's up, caller? This is a game show. Here, you can win a prize. Uh, number four. Santa may have to fly a little faster on Christmas Eve as workers for which delivery company are considering going on strike? Is it A, FedEx, B, UPS, C, DHL, or D, USPS? Uh, a FedEx. Kali, your answer is. Wah, 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 nah. oh. <laughs> oh. Good guess. The correct answer was B UPS. Hey, real quick, uh, if if he wants to pay up on his debt that he now owes you, Justin, where can he go to buy those so he can you send them to, to you? Econtender.us this weekend, where our Black Friday sale will have all of this <laughs> ready for you. All right, thank you, caller. So I love good, the fact I love the fact that he says this is a game show good, question mark. <laughs> good, good week to actually give away prizes when nobody's getting anything yeah. correct. All right, he's got a prize for me. Uh, yeah, here Should I got. I should offer one. Nobody's getting these right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, what, what, what do you? Oh, you got? know what? what Sergeant would you Muffin. Recommend? Sergeant Muffin has our brand new God King T-shirt available at Diamond ah. Oh, there we go. So, uh, Sergeant Muffin, thank you for your generous contribution. Thank you so much. Up for you is a God King shirt. So when the caller misses, call. can right, you just give Bryce someone. a Besh shirt? <laughs> we're, we're calling our uh, uh, contestant right now on Skype. Boop, boop, Excellent name. Boop, 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 boop. Hello? Hey, Collie, this is a game show where you can win a fabulous prize. A flock of 30,000 chickens in which country was destroyed after an outbreak of bird flu? Is it A, Ireland, B, Thailand, C, Germany, or D, Mexico? Mm. I'm going to say it Mexico. Collie, your answer is... Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I, I no longer want the actual losing fail horn. I just want <laughs> Bryce's version of it in in soundboard format. In there fact, you by the way, the yeah, no, is right. I, 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 I just need like, but the wah like in four thousand, like like all like just four thousands of the final wah, like just a chorus of Bryce's. Just... <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, caller. The correct answer was Germany. Bye. Uh, 
<laughs> Take that, Germany. All right, hey, man, you know what's great is lighting your cigarettes because uh, smoking is super punk rock and it makes you look cool, kids. God, just try what? just try one. You'll be doing it forever because it's so great. Uh, when you light that, you don't want to light your cigarette like a cool guy with a flame. You want to do it with lightning like Thor. So instead, why don't you use the plasma lighter? Available at scamstuff.com. It uses a literal bolt of lightning to light your stuff. And... This person has a chance to either win one or owe oh, you one. one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, is, this is just Night Attack where ever, this is just the Iron Cat. <laughs> this is how we're going to make all our money is just yep. calling people one at a time. Yeah. And no, 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 no. The By the way, we're going until 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. <laughs> no. I call it this is a quiz show. Known primarily as a songwriter and session musician, Leon Russell, who died on Sunday, also had a solo career. Which song of his, released in 1972, was his highest ranking Billboard single? Is it A, Delta Dawn, B, Tightrope, C, Good Time Charlie's Got the Blues, or D, Kung Fu Fighting? A. Answer, uh, Kali, your answer is... <laughs> the correct answer was B, tightrope. You know what? I don't care. I'm calling that an unfair question, and this person gets the plasma, plasma lighter. lighter. Hey, caller, send, put, put your email in the Skype chat when I hang up. Bye. <laughs> Eat shit. <Beep. laughs> so I was on, like, one of the very first Blitz quizzes. Yeah? When you guys had Scott Johnson on. Yeah. And I was the only person that got it right that entire show. Yeah. I now know how the guy that answered the second question feels like. Because uh, there's been only one right answer. There's only so been one. Yeah, yeah, no. That's right. All right. Uh, who's got a product for us? Justin. Uh, I do. Okay. Again, it's the uh, uh, They Contender. This weekend, the entire uh, the Contender deck, 500 cards spanning the history of American democracy from George Washington to Donald Trump, available to you for the once in a lifetime price of 1776. Oh, the it's pretty That's good. Amazing. All right. Well, let's call our contestant and see how they do with this one. It's a dirty ring. Hello? Hi, caller. This is a game show with prizes. Which clothing retailer plans to file its second Chapter 11 bankruptcy in just over a year? Is it A, Speedo? Is it B, Burlington Coke Factory? C, American Apparel? Or D, Old Navy? Uh, I'm going to say B. Caller, your answer is... Wah, 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 nah. ah! Ah! <laughs> the correct answer is American Apparel C. Thank you for playing. And by the contender, the contender that you. <laughs> yeah, it's only 1776. Bye, click. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling one way, more. You I feeling one more? That to, to 1776 right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you just make that up? <laughs> well, no, we were going to do it, but <laughs> no, but now, but now it's a good time to do wild. work. <laughs> Is offer code I want to die still live? Uh, all right, who uh, whose turn is it? All right, Brian? last one. We're gonna do this. I know a lot of people right now are taking notes, trying to remember everything. Probably using pens. I'm betting that pen is a dumb pen that they got for free or maybe even paid for. My guess is that pen doesn't include. A crenulation crown used to oh. jab and tear skin off the skull of people attacking you. Jeez. Nor does it contain a bunch of uh, lock picks. It's not the lockproof pen available at scamstuff.com, which is what the next person has a chance to win. All right. Well, let's give them a call and see how they do on the Blitz Quiz. They're on. Say hello. Say hello. 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 Say hello to us. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Yo, what up? Yo. Hello. Yo, girl. Caller. I see you in. All right, here. fine. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, Caller, this is a game show. A three-year, $60 million renovation product was just concluded in which building and included repairing the painting The, Ap the Apotheosis of Washington? Is it A, Graceland, B, Trump Tower, 
C, the Empire State Building, or D, the United States Capitol? And we are not hearing you, caller, if you're trying to talk. So long, jerk! Caller guesses D. (laughs) No, it doesn't. (laughs) It says the person looking at the answer, no! Oh. All right, they're out. 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 The the next person we call, the answer is D. If your (laughs) phone rings and it's us, the answer is D. All right, here we go. A new new question, same prize, new question. This is the last one. Oh, new question? New question? Yeah. Dial M for murder. It's D for... Hello. Hey, you want to win a prize? NASCAR driver Joey Logano won the Can-Am 500 Sunday at Phoenix International Raceway, but at the same time lost his what? A, sense of smell, B, wedding ring, C, helmet, or D, American citizenship? I would like to say B, wedding ring. Caller, your answer is... Oh! Winner! <laughs> Congratulations, Caller. You're going to win the lockproof pen. Uh, email uh, neshcom at gmail.com with subject uh, heading, I have a huge boner, and he will set that up for you. <laughs> or just like a regular thing, I guess. No, it's got to be that, or else you subject, won't get it. Subject, I have a huge raging boner. All right, boner, bye, Caller. Thank you, bye, Caller. Good job, fucko. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what is going on? Hey, by the way, the, the original contender deck officially right now on sale for 1776, the contender.us. Hey, guys, want to do one more for that t shirt? We we have this this one. Oh, the God King? For the God King t shirt? Well, somebody, I mean, he's already up one God King shirt because the guy lost, right? So right. He so he has shirt. two to give away. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, then, well, why not? Well, well, I'll tell you what, where do people find it, Bryce? Uh, they can go to diamondclub.tv and look on the panel there should be a shop button on the side panel where you can get your chat room yeah fix. by the way uh sergeant muffin uh makes no money from he all this stuff at he's cost. just the, the the best person on the planet and there are a lot of yeah diamondclub.tv slash shop but that's click all on the you shop need button. to go to. All, right. all right all right but uh all right ready uh, let's call one Please more all right here we shirt. go sergeant muffin is begging in chat all right we're doing it we're doing it Pick up. Keep going. Pick up. Keep going. Voicemail. Keep going. Oh goddamn! Welcome to ringing the show, America. What the fuck, (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the game show, fucko. Which of these states did not pass a referendum to legalize marijuana in the recent election? A. Arizona. B. California. C. Nevada. Or D. Massachusetts. A. Arizona. Caller, your answer is... Oh! He gets the God King t-shirt if he is sober Woo! enough to remember having participated in this tomorrow morning. Congratulations, caller. Uh, Again, email- that's neshcom at gmail.com. Subject line, I have a huge boner. God, or just like a regular <laughs> thing. All right, that's Bryce, I'll just write. DM me. I got you on Twitter. <laughs> thank so you, thank you. Thank my, you, bye, my boo. My pussy is wet or Diamondclub.tv <laughs> slash shop. <laughs> Why always got to be Yeah, club.tv slash shop. All right, shop. well, hey, good game. All right, outcome. Uh, we gave away some good stuff. <laughs> good game. All right, outcome. <laughs> Three of ten. That's 33%. That's good in baseball. Yeah, we gave away four or five things, so... <laughs> That's oh fantastic. Um, a lot of you I know, and we'll get in touch other ways if you don't uh, get in touch with me. So, congratulations, everybody. That's Blitz Quiz. Oh yeah. Blitz hey, Quiz. Hey, anybody who has any feedback on Blitz Quiz, you can just email <laughs> neshcom <laughs> at gmail.com with the subject line, I have a huge boner. Uh, or a, or or a, a regular floppy taco. Or like a regular human thing, people say. Yeah. So. Or I have a regular human boner, <laughs> as he suggests. Acceptable. It's like either one of the right. two. I can compromise. I can that's compromise. That subject, <laughs> I have a huge raging boner, or something normal normal people would say. It's Nishcom at uh, MarsNeedsBrice.pizza. <laughs> You want to know what? This is so hilarious. We need to go 
to Diamond Time, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com. It's our own little subreddit, our little corner of the internet where you guys can shout out your projects, and we'll do our best to uh, make them more visible right here. Um, you'll notice right at the top there's a sticky post, and uh, the top three of them get read live right here on the air. And we begin with what? Uh, well, Brian, uh, I agree that we begin. We start with. <laughs> movie I, here we go. I got it. We begin oh, okay. with Movie League Mike, who posts I'm kickstarting a book called Tech Please. And that is a collection of weekly tech views, humor column I write for the Daily Tech News Show. The campaign went live last Wednesday, got off to a decent start. But now comes the typical lull. If you like tech or even better, laughing at tech and the companies behind it, you can check out the campaign at bit.ly slash tech please or sample the columns at bit.ly slash weekly tech views. Thanks. Uh, take a little take a little look at this bees. Let's okay. jump in the middle. I always like jumping in the middle. All right, here. Let me click on the middle of this. Oh, oh. you have to hit play. There you go. You got this. Only book on technology you'll ever need. Because you don't have to worry about hazy concepts. Like I love the fact that, that he has a so banana for scale. <laughs> and a t-shirt that says writer. If you read the weekly Tech Views blog that I write for the Daily Tech News Show. Uh, okay, you here. Can, can, can we pay attention to the only thing that matters in this? Yeah. Uh, look at his name. Movie League Mike. Which means he does what, Brian? He leagues the movies? He writes our movie league recaps oh. every single week oh yeah no he is very talented and funny and fun and actually no I, I like love everything he's he writes. one of the best analytical writers i have flat out ever read he just happens to write about the dumb stuff that you and i and so many other friends do this man is supremely talented i have backed his kickstarter if you do not back this kind of quality writing then when you read something that sucks and you're like why does this writing suck you have nothing but yourself to blame would, reward would, good writing all right i'm, I'm gonna do Please. it right now um uh, would you say he's something of a god king uh, indeed, I would say he's something of a god king. All right. That link one more time is bit.ly slash techplease, T-E-C-H-P-L-E-A-S-E. There we go. Ethan Kane, our next submitter, writes, Last year I welcomed 2016 in by streaming over 24 hours of uh, 24 hours straight and raising money for uh, Diamond Club Family in Need. Let's do it again! This time we're requesting help from the whole Diamond Club and Frog Pants community to make sure that no one has to spend New Year's Eve alone. If you are current or aspiring Diamond Club.tv streamer and want to help out, sign up at YOLO420.com slash S-T-R-E-M-2017. That is a 420, YOLO420.com slash stream 2017. The earlier you sign up uh, for one of our 24 or sorry, 25 hour, uh, one hour slot slots, the more you're likely to get desires. Oh out. man, so, somebody went just crazy full on Cylon. Beep, I don't need no dirty. secret beep, chest. Beep, 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 beep. The Cylon is right here and he's sitting there in Davie, Florida. Uh, can you hear me now? Uh, I hear you and your robotic voice. You think yeah, we're fooled by that? Okay. I ain't buying right, any of this. Right, I say, right, I, say right. I say, we shoot the the toaster motherfuckers. Yeah. How about Brian? You read the the last. Uh, well, I was in the problem. middle of contributing to Movie League Mike's thing, but well, I, in fact, I was going to bow. You know, no, it's fine. Oh. Just, let me just, it's diamondclub.reddit.com. Diamondclub.reddit.com. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, Hi, Justin. Hey. Better now? Yeah. Better. Yeah. Now. Human for now. That's yellow420.com slash stream2017 if you want to get on it. And our final final <laughs> time is from Kilroy Periwinkle. Hey, guys. First time coming out of the Oh, wait. Oh, I, I thought you were reading the next Diamond Club thing. Like, I, I didn't know that you were saying. I thought human for now was literally like, like who wrote No, I was the continuing next... the bit right before you left I, about no, calling I, I, you I, a I, Cylon. That's all on me. That's all on me. <laughs> but if some human for now was writing like on, on, on Diamond Time, you wouldn't blink, right? True. Very true. All right, I'm, I'm almost done right contributing right, to Kilroy Perry Mike's Winkle thing. says, "Hey guys, first time coming out of the shadows and asking the Diamond Club to welcome me with their weirdly damp, kind hands. I'm traveling to Shanghai and Tokyo in January and would love to meet with some peeps while I'm abroad. I've traveled to Shanghai before alone and found the language barrier kind of isolating. I'm apparently not as charming when all you understand is every third word. 
Anywho, pretty much just saying, if you're going to be in the Shanghai or Tokyo areas, do you want to grab a beer in January? I'll be in Tokyo from the 5th to the 9th and Shanghai from the 9th to the 18th. Let him know at Kilroy Periwinkle, K-I-L-R-O-Y-P-E-R-R-Y-W-I-N-K on Twitter. Yeah, Kilroy Periwink. 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 Wink, wink. <sighs> Hot googly dig dog. The only way to make I mean, this. Brian, how awesome is that? That somebody's going to Tokyo and Shanghai and is relying on us to get pussy. Uh, dude, the only thing better than that is the <laughs> fact that that's a reasonable way to hook up with like minded individuals. And that most likely through this program, he's going to find somebody and be all like, yeah, no, it'll be great. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, fact, and also, I. I I understand. By pussy, I mean another dude with a beard. But like, <laughs> like still, like they can both go try to find pussy together, or not, or dude, fuck each other. That's like, fine. Put put this in perspective. <laughs> like I last year, I got on a goddamned plane mm -hmm. and flew to Malaysia, uh -huh. and in Kuala Lumpur, mm -hmm. showed up at an event mm -hmm. and looked down the audience and saw this shit. People flashing the Diamond Club symbol. Yeah, we're right. worldwide. We're worldwide. We're a cult. We're a cult. Worldwide. A cult. Dale. Dale. A cult. 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 Oh, oh God. <laughs> All right. Let's I don't do know the movie draft. That's minute. a good thing. Should cult. We be cult. 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 Movie draft minute. Cult. Welcome to movie draft minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of November twenty first, twenty sixteen. I'm your host Roberto Viegas. Thanksgiving is upon us. It's a time for food, a time for joy, a time for some sweet deals, and time for movies. Let's go check the scoreboard. Malongo AE and Mikey Newman are both tied for fifth place. Still waiting for the first film. Brian Brush was in fourth place with $43.7 million. Team DTNS is in third place with $116.1 million. Chrissy Cates is in second place with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, bringing in $74.4 million, bringing her total to $131 million. And in first place, a whopping $215 million. It's Justin Robert Young. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of November 21st, 2016. Is that is that your new uh, your new play is to just buy whatever the first movies are so that you can enjoy a brief time in the sun? Here's what I can enjoy: that fantastic booty and where to find them opened under Doctor Strange. Oh, dude, no, no, no! You uh, okay? You spent how much? Uh, sixty dollars on Doctor Strange. She spent sixty dollars on Fantastic Beasts. You've made one hundred and eighty-three million dollars. She's made $81 million. Yeah, about that. Not so good, Al. That's not so good, Al. I mean, you she might have half again or even, let's say she doubles it. Oh, wow. Hold on. We're getting Cylons all over this business. Okay. Uh, let's say let's say we got, um, uh, let's say she doubles it. She still doesn't get close to Doctor Strange. No. Can you right. hear me? Next, uh, yes. next question. Fan <laughs> Fantastic Beasts and how J.K. found financed her summer home. Uh, yeah, man. I is it good? Has anyone seen Fantastic Booty? No. Uh, I mean, I, I think uh, like, the reviews are good, at least. Like, you know, like, some people like, I don't know, Jeff Kanata hated it. And uh, uh, if, if that man hated it, then I'm going to assume I'm going to hate it. But yeah. uh, a lot <laughs> of people liked it. I've seen literally zero Harry Potter movies. Uh, well, then you're not yeah, uh, qualified good, to talk good, about this. Like, yeah. I, I, I would like a great Harry Potter universe movie, right? Like, that's that's clear. Just, it just might not be it. All right. So next up, we have Malongo with Moana, Bad Santa 2, Allied, Kidnap, La La Land. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a sleepy next few weeks. Yeah, it's pretty dull till Christmas. Um, I think Moana, now, in terms of our game, Moana is going to make all the money. Um, but, and Malongo has it, but Malongo's got literally nothing else. He's got office Christmas party and passengers. I mean, let's, let's just understand that the first tracking reports came out for Rogue One and that thing is tracking at 120 million in its first week. <sighs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, it, yeah, it's, it's gonna, it's, it's gotta be DTNS. I mean, in a world where he's already got 118 million rolling into Rogue One, but, 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 a uh, 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 120, right? Like, is not what? What did Force Awaken open? Uh, Force Awaken opened it almost like 300 like, million or something, right? Like, how, how much? 
all of the money. Yeah, no, no, no. Most of the money on the planet. Yeah. Well, well, someone, someone, someone looked that up, but it's like, but it's not tracking at episode seven. So any idea that it was going to be episode seven, I think, seems to be out the window. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, look. It's a dumb game anyway. I never wanted to win. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Tom's dumb so here. It's right. a cheater and a liar. Whatever. What, what did you have? What did you have? Uh, what did I? What, oh, what do I have in the draft? Yeah. I, I have all the other movies except for uh, Rogue One. Uh, Arrival's the only one that's come out. And Arrival overperformed expectations. It's at $45 million, So it'll round out like $50 million. Uh, which is good because I only spent ten bucks, and but outside of that, I have a bunch of like wild cards. I got Sing, Gold, Hidden Figures, The Founder, Triple X, Return of uh, Xander Cage, Fifty Shades Darker, John Wick, Chapter Two, and Logan. To be honest, Logan is because Logan is so late in the game. It might be you know some of that summer tastiness, you know. What's yeah, that? no, I, I I I I kind of agree. I feel like between Sing. Fifty Shades Darker and Logan, if everybody underperforms, you have an outside shot. I mean, like, like if, if, if Rogue One is just a Doctor Strange plus level hit, yeah, then you have a shot. Yeah, no, uh, we, we, we'll see. Uh, I guess, I guess, really now, I think, uh, I think you might have lucked out with getting La La Land. Uh, what was because the Dark Tower was what you bought. But it yeah. got moved to the summer, and so you got awarded La La Land. I mean, between you and me, Dark Tower in the fall or in in winter, I don't think makes as much money as La La Land is scheduled to do. I don't think La La Land makes over twenty. Like, really? Like by the time that we shut it off, yeah. I mean, because it, it's so art house. Like, I mean, yeah, it's got stars. It's I mean, and maybe it breaks out. Maybe it gets that Good Morning America kind of audience, right? <laughs> That uh, that the uh, no people that watch Good Morning America uh, is it, what's her name Hodor, uh, Hodor. the, the chick the chick with the wine Kathy Lee and Hodor, Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> there you go yeah <laughs> a lot of people watch that show though. I know yeah yeah I, I mean I see it I see it without voices which is probably the right way to do it yeah that just the best correct. way to watch it. I, so. I'm I'm on the treadmill <laughs> <laughs> listening to Night Attack. <laughs> Is that the problem? No, no. no. Hold on. that right. fourth hour of the Today Show is. It's just her. It's just the two of them getting hammered and talking about things they talked at about at nine in the, previous, the morning yeah. in the in the previous part of the show. Yeah. So familiar. I'm saying, like, if that crowd is like, "Oh my God, have you seen La La Land?" Like, then maybe yes, it mobilizes the center of the country that wouldn't otherwise go to see a love letter to Los Angeles. But otherwise, I think it's DOA. Dude, the moment I saw the the trailer for La La Land, I thought like fucking Oscar bait. This is uh this oh, is Oh god, yeah. It's like uh, yeah, and we've talked about this. Four of the last five movies that have won best picture have been all about how capital I important actors are. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, living in Los Angeles. What a complicated yet interesting place. <laughs> oh, remember that time that we saved those hostages in Iran by pretending to fooling them with a faux documentary? Actors, we really are the best. <laughs> uh, but remember yet when we were in black and white? Oh my god, what a harsh time for us actors. Ah, <laughs> uh, remember that time I opened up IMDb to find out who else won so that I could make another <laughs> reference. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, man. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, remember a, man, a time an actor thought he was a bird, but instead it turns out it was something much more important. An actor on the stage of life. Birdman. Oh, Birdman. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yes, I do. I do remember that. Remember that movie where the Boston Globe solved pedophilia, but it was played by actors? <laughs> uh, man, going back, uh, uh, do you realize, uh, do you know, do any, do, I wonder, do any of you guys know what movie defeated Saving Private Ryan for Best Picture? Yeah, I do, but do you want to ask? Uh, yeah, no, let me else? ask. Let me ask the crowd. No, I know it was a yeah. shitty movie. I think. It was a shitty movie. Yeah, uh, All right. was it three hundred? No, nope. no. I'll give you a hint. It was a movie about LA how actors were important. Was it LA Confidential? No. Uh, yeah, Shakespeare, Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love. Oh, in love good God. Was, was yeah. The, uh, yeah. I that, mean, that, that's a better movie than 
Saving, saving Private Ryan. Ryan. Oh, without, right? yeah. Well, yeah, way I mean, better. If, if I this, mean, like, yeah, this, like, like one of the about... greatest action scenes of all time uh, that that brings war on on like a level that it gives actual veterans PTSD. Like, uh, sure, yeah, that movie with the kind of heart and soul about a very important moment of American courage, far less important than, than the a movie about how hard it is. Actor thing <laughs> about how hard it is to be a woman who is an actor. I mean, iambic pentameter is hard. Yeah. I mean, if the takeaway from this Rock conversation hard. is award shows are bullshit, I don't know that we're setting the world on fire quite. Can T2, yeah, we T2 are. T2 make no, look, this Oscars is what our show is known for, is for breaking for the mold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey. No, I mean, listen, uh, I don't know. If, have we ever said this publicly, this this metaphor about when uh, we got in trouble for the one ad read back at our old place? No, but we should. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should save it for the after show. Available Ooh. on your private RSS feed. The Maybe we should. Patreon.com slash Night Attack. There, there is a metaphor that we can unleash that will explain to Bryce why we need to do the bit we just did. Yeah. Hey, man, we absolutely love you guys. You're the best thing that ever happened to us. We'll be here till the end of time. Do us a favor, you beautiful people. Please, 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 die in a fire. Oh, also That's Nertacular. Nertacular is happening. And you We're going to be a Nertacular. Nertacular.com. Tickets. tickets are on sale right now. It's the last one. We got the fact, Johnson. Every time you leave, I want to hurt myself by pissing off some bees. See you next Tuesday. I'm allergic to bees. Oh. Justin Robert Young Every time you go I get so sad That I wanna Drink a warm glass Of Drano Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack Night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>